And if nobody is spending money on a product, how the hell do you think you're going to make money? Listen, girls, how about y'all go out there and start your own business and see how that shit works if nobody come and buy what you're selling? Let's, let, we can talk about it when you come back and tell me, hey, Chocolati, I didn't sell a thing. I'm be like, well, what happened? Well, we had to close. Well, why? I'm, I'm a, well, why, girls? Why? Why'd you have to close? They go, well, we wasn't making any money. Duh. You wasn't making any money in the damn WNBA. Five dollar tickets to go to these games, and you was only filling up five thousand seats when the stadium set like fifteen thousand people, ten thousand people. You only selling five thousand tickets. How the hell do you gonna get paid? Y'all crazy as hell. <laughs> Boy, Nafisha and them really tried their hand with the Unrivaled League. And they really thought that they was going to do a spinoff of the WNBA that people was going to want to come and watch, right? That didn't have Caitlin Clark a part of it. They really thought that they was going to want to come and watch this shit, man. They, they didn't look at the WNBA and see what happened with Caitlin being there. How pissed off people was watching that sport. They didn't see that. Now they thought they was going to start a league that did not have Caitlin Clark in it. And now they're trying their best to pull her over there. Because this shit don't work if you, if you don't got Caitlyn. None of this works if you don't got Caitlyn. I don't care what you was offering these ladies. I don't care about the pay. Like, you, you, you go offer them six-figure pay, and they get other incentives. They get equity. What does that even mean, to have equity of something that's worth nothing? That shit ain't going to be worth nothing. You tell me who's going to be sitting there watching it. I'm not. I'm a Kaylin Clark fan. I want to see her play. Hell, I probably still even wouldn't even want to watch the, the 303 shit. I don't want to watch that. I want to watch 505 basketball. What is this hybrid basketball shit? Who you competing with right now? This is supposed to be an unrivaled, it's supposed, to, it's supposed to rival the WNBA? I don't think so. No, I don't think so, man, because that shit is I ran and operated through the, the, the NBA. And as of right now, Kaylin Clark is the hot shit. So they're going to make money over that now. So the NBA needs to understand that, hey, we got to get, y'all better get behind Caitlin Clark because we've been fronting y'all money all these damn years and y'all ain't turned over a dime. Now y'all got the opportunity to, you better do it. You better get her ass over there and get behind her. Stop playing around. Screw unrivaled. Figure this shit out with the CBA. We'll get you your money. Just stop screwing with Caitlin. It's the damn shame that this, that, 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 that this woman had went through this stupid shit right now to the point to where these women are trying to offer her so much more money to join another league. You know what? The crazy thing is, if they wouldn't have treated Caitlyn the way they did in the WNBA, I bet she wouldn't even mind joining the, the unrivaled league. But since she went through what the, the shit that she went through, I wouldn't want to play with these... I'm going to call them the B word. <laughs> sorry. I'm going to call out their name. I'm sorry, but I wouldn't want to play with them. You kidding? And, and I don't have to. I'm not hurting for money. So I bet you a lot of those people over there, because I just found out who all the people was that's, kind of, that's backing this thing. Carmelo Anthony and Ashton Kutcher, they got their money tied up in this shit. Carmelo Anthony, what the hell are you doing? Why didn't you secure Caitlin Clark before y'all started this league? Why didn't you? Y'all, you should have spoke up too, Carmelo. If you are a part of the damn unrivaled league, and you didn't say anything about the treatment that Caitlin Clark was getting, that makes you look like a damn fool. And you trying to court her, right, to get her to come over there to your shit? You didn't have her back. You didn't have her back. You know what? Screw it. Offer her a million. Offer her two million, three million, four million. I hope she turned down all that shit. Hope she turned it all down. That damn unrivaled league gonna be a bust. It's gonna be open for one season. Straight up, it's going to be a one one season. How many games they get to play? That's how many episodes. Well, how many did they play 30 games? With the, what is it? 6 weeks of play, I think. They play 30 games. It's 30 episodes. Look guys, I told y'all, sports and entertainment. This is the entertainment part. Then I heard that they said they will try to take this shit and turn it to like some reality TV shit to where they follow the girls around. Where y'all coming up with all these ideas from? Y'all been watching too much Netflix. That what happened. Y'all been watching too much Netflix in the damn show they got over there with LeBron James in a minute. And speaking of LeBron James, 
Did y'all know that LeBron James signed the $90 million Nike deal when he came out of high school, when he joined the NBA? Did y'all know that? Did y'all know that he had a signature shoe his first season? Why doesn't Kayla have a shoe out yet? Yeah, I know. I, I said that. It's uh, obvious that she don't have one because Asia don't have one yet. And they want to make sure that they get the queen her shoe. <laughs> you should have you been got her a shoe if she's been so damn good. Why you ain't get a shoe? She got, what, three MVPs? Two championships? Why she ain't got no shoe? But that's supposed to be the face of the WNBA. Don't, don't put that on Kayla Clark because she ain't got no shoe. Got Nike over there holding up her shoe for her ass. And commercials. What's with the, 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 the discrepancy and, and pay? Because Kaitlyn got a $28 million deal with Nike. And LeBron got a $90 million deal. Now, I ain't saying Kaitlyn is, is as polarizing as LeBron. But damn it, she is global. Kaitlyn Clark is global. The, where, I can't, don't play with me. My subscribers I talk to, man, from Australia and Canada and Sweden, Nigeria, South Africa. They all over the world watch this woman play basketball. This is your best opportunity to make this sport something, right? As a matter of fact, this is your best opportunity to get paid for women in sports in general. Screw the WNBA. We talk about Kayla Clark being the face of a person that's going to get money for everybody. Why the hell she got a $28 million Nike deal over four, what, no, eight years. $28 million over eight years. And LeBron James, I don't know, he a lifetime contract with Nike right now. But he had $90 million coming out of high school. Y'all don't feel like Kayla could have got $50 million? She ain't even getting half of what LeBron got. Why? Why is it taking so long for her to get a shoe? Now, I get it. I get it, right? The WNBA wasn't that entertaining. And it wasn't making an, enough money to pay these women. This is why y'all wasn't getting paid, WNBA. Because nobody was watching that shit. And if nobody is spending money on a product, how the hell do you think you're going to make money? Listen, girls, how about y'all go out there and start your own business and see how that shit works if nobody come and buy what you're selling? Let's, let, we can talk about it when you come back and tell me, hey, Chocolati, I didn't sell a thing. I'll be like, well, what happened? Well, we had to close. Well, why? I'm, I'm a, well, why, girls? Why? Why'd you have to close? Be, well, we wasn't making any money. Duh. You wasn't making any money in the damn WNBA. $5 tickets to go to these games and you was only filling up 5,000 seats. When the stadium set like 15,000 people, 10,000 people, you're only selling 5,000 tickets. How the hell are you going to get paid? Y'all crazy as hell. Stop being delusional and start looking at this shit from a business standpoint and get out your damn feelings. You feel like you should be getting paid. Well, I'm going to tell your ass, screw your damn feelings. Because what I see is, I see a bunch of damn women out there bitter as hell, mad because they feel like they had a great ass product. Since 1997, and you didn't. But then Kayla comes in and shows the world that, oh, shit, it can be good. And y'all pissed off at her because nobody was looking before her. Y'all don't want her to have the glory. Y'all better do something. Because this is going to revolutionize pay for everybody. Look at the soccer women. They bitch and complain, too, about how they don't get paid. And, 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 and the damn men always getting all the money. And they keep losing. All women always winning. The men always losing. If y'all really want to get paid, y'all get behind each other. Don't have the same crab in the barrel mentality that most of my people have. We keep pulling each other down because we want to be first. Hell, let this woman go. Let Caitlyn be. So that y'all can get money for the rest of everybody else in all the other leagues out there. Not just the WNBA. Get out your own damn way, women. You're in your own way. Nike, get this woman her damn shoe. I see Paige got a damn... Paige is still in college and she finna have a damn shoe right now. What the hell is you doing, Nike? Stop being afraid of getting behind Kayla Clark and let her do it. Just do it. Ain't that y'all damn motto? Just do it. Look, guys, that's my time. I appreciate y'all for stopping in and chilling with your boy. If you're new to the channel, you know what you gotta do. Hit that subscribe button to become a part of Chocolate Red Crew. Y'all guys hit that like button for this video. Hit that notification bell so you know when your boy drops videos and live streams. I appreciate y'all boys for checking in with your boy Chocolati. Chocolati Blast. Y'all gonna start getting a lot more of those in my videos. Guys, I'm out. I thank y'all for being here, chilling, rocking with your boy. Peace. Peace.